All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Undertale. Um, so the last time I played this, we did all of Snowden, well, almost. Uh, we left off, um, you know, uh, Sans wanted to take us to Grillby's for a little snack. We got ketchup all over our burger. Uh, I'm dropping a lot of frames. That's not good. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna try and amend some of the settings. Ten years later. Uh, let's see. Watching it very carefully. Um, he hello, Papyrus. Hello. Hello. Yeah, my internet on my laptop seems to be a bit weak at the moment. Uh, certainly isn't good. Eh. Right. Tell you what, I'm tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead anyway. Um Right. Hello Papyrus, what do you want to do? So you came back to have a date with me, I Yeah, I forgot we were about to date Papyrus. You must really be serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay. We're just following Papyrus. And now we're going backwards. We, he, 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 we, we ran in circles. My house. Sure, let's go in. There's okay. Let's see. Right, I've never really checked out Papyrus's house before, so we've got this. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> That is funny. Uh, what, in here, that- okay, okay, we have a kitchen in here. Um, that's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Wow, we- we can visit trash cans in this universe. Uh, my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with, sh with a sugary non-egg substance. This sounds like a cake. Wait, no. No, I don't know what it reminds me of. How absurd! There's an empty pie tin in the stove. <laughs> Alright. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Alright. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Hello? Hello? What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. Hello, Sans! What?! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> I've never seen this before! I, I, I promise you, I've never seen that happen before. Hold on. Aha! Interested in my food museum. Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labelled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Sure. Okay. Right, let's see. We have a we have a couch here. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You feel you find a bunch of loose coins inside a couch. You got 20 I'm just robbing this guy's house. I'm I'm just robbing Papyrus's house now. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sand, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. <laughs> and don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? <laughs> oh, my word, sad. <laughs> Forget it. So sad here. Wait. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program. MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is this is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. And what have we got here? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. I think we better have a look. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. What? You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okay, <laughs> that, that was weird. Um, let's see. A classic image. 
it always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? I mean, bones are very important to us. If we don't have bones, then we can't move. The door is locked. Okay, so we can't go into Sam's room. Right. Uh, then there's this door, which I believe is Sam's room. Yep, the Pop Papyrus' room. Sorry. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Uh, sure. Right, we're dating. So, let's let's take a look in here. Hey, those are all, all the attacks I used on you. Oh, wow. F thank you, Papyrus. You've stored every single weapon you used against me in your room. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Well, for me, it was actually two days ago, but hey. Even though it's basically just happened. Let's see, what's this? The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, hey. I mean, the less friends you... The, the, the less people who follow you on social media, the, the less um garbage you're going to get sent. So, good going, Papyrus. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Hey, Sans, you're doing it. The computer's internet open... Oh, sorry. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. What social media site? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Do we look inside the closet? Well, I guess we, get, we better do it. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. You're not going to tell us off of that papyrus? What's this? That book's one of my favourites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favourites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Peekaboo! Isn't that flag Neo? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. I have no idea what to say to that. Uh, Papyrus, um, Nobel Prize in history, okay? You have just solved the real question we needed answering. Where did humans come from? You have just solved our problems. Thank you, Papyrus. Yeah. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yep, yeah, that's right. Santa! Is Santa a monster? Oh my god, that, that's something I've never considered. Like, okay, so the world of Undertale has monsters and humans. We've always perceived Santa as a human, but is he really a monster? Like, Sans or Papyrus or any of the... Uh, in, or Toriel or any of the other monsters we're going to meet later. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface... I'd like to drive down a, a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So I instead cruise while I snooze. Right, e even Papyrus is good at making jokes. Right. Date time. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? We better do it. Okay, dating start. <laughs> dating start, here we go. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can spell prepared with, without several letters from my name. Really? Uh, ready? Maybe? Yeah. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press your... Press con your controller's X button for dating hugs. Uh... Friday... Uh... Real it in population... Egg. Prime. Wow, okay. Wow, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. There's, there's a dog on the radar. <laughs> there's a dog on the radar. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Sure. Yes. Really? Wowee. 
I guess that means it's time for part three. Set free. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Um. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> say yes to that. I want to see how this goes. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. You're dating power. Oh, great. Date. We're. we're <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear, co can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Oh, nice outfit, Papyrus! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Ah, uh, I love it. No! A genuine compliment! Oh, great, we are beating Papyrus at dating. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secrets. But that won't happen. Okay, move and inspect with A. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm looking there. Um, well, I'm just going to check on the hat. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah. Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Wait, is it spaghetti? Do you know what this is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This isn't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Well, you said it was an artisan, but you said it was a masterpiece. I better, I better see if it's true. You take a small bite. Your, your face re reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, the dating power. Oh. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. <laughs> Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, it is hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Oh, Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Okay. Because I don't even have lips. Oh. Nice joke, Purple Virus. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, 
Here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. And that's it. Dating over. I went on a date with Papyrus and it was totally... <laughs> it was something. Um... Right. Let's... Let's just progress on forward then. Through the fog and... Into the next area. Oh, hello! Everyone's back here, All right? I, I, I already read these uh, in the previous uh, stream, so yeah. Multiple checkpoints, right? Hey, Sans. Let's hang out, hang out again sometime. Sure. Right. Let's just keep going forwards. This is a box. Uh, you. Yeah, yeah. Wait. What? 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 Sorry. What was that? Why would you vote? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Oh, so we had a box lover last time, now we've got a box hater. Right, I want to see what's down here. Like, there's something down here. Can we go through the waterfall? No? I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Right, okay, there's definitely something here. Come on, there's something. There is something behind this waterfall. Right. Let's just see. Have I got anything in the box? Uh, right. I'm going. Right. I, right. Those are things I need to keep in there for later. Right. Oh, here. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Uh, sure. You got the old tutu. So. What what does this do? You equipped the old two two. Oh. Oh, it's uh, defense. Okay. Right. So I can. Right. Well, I guess we're using the two two. Right. Let's put the manly bandana in the box then. And let's progress. Oh yep, yeah, I remember this cutscene. Hi Undyne, I'm here with my daily report, uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well... No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Right, let's keep going then. Um, slowly. Oh, great. She heard something. Undyne heard something. You gonna do anything? Okay, she's disappeared. Hello? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beats up some bad guys. Oh, and you fell on your face. Oh, great. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. This music, oh my word, I've missed this music. And let's see. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. I get it. But also, this is one of the best songs in the game. Like, legit. It's like one of the most peaceful, um... It's one of the pe most peaceful songs in the game. Like, 
love it for that reason. Anyway, battle, hello. Aaron flexes in. Uh, flex? You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack incre- Oh. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Wink. Aaron just winked at me. Okay. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Uh, flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Oh, great. Okay. Nice. I won't lose, though. Wink again. Okay. 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 Aaron is ready for your next flex. All right. Just flex again. He flex. Aaron, Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself to, out of the room. Oh. Oh, we, we flexing those muscles. Anyway, oh, I, I think there's a little secret there. Also, what's this? Oh, we can turn these mu the, the lights of these mushrooms on and off. Okay. Right, I know what to do here, but I want to go down there because I don't think I've ever done that. Right, this music is incredible. Right. We can go to the next room. Let's see what's here. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath the bit this bench. Will you take it? Sure, I'll take it. You got the abandoned quiche. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Right, these flowers do tell a sad story sometimes. Alright, oh. If an error is made, the bell blossom can pull all bridge seeds back to where they started. Alright. There we go. So, I think from memory... I think we have to do it from down here. If I'm right. Yeah, we do. There we go. That that makes total sense. Because now... We've made a bridge. That we can go across. Oh, ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every f number sequentially until I got yours. Oh, wow, you really did that, Papyrus? Um, wow. Yeah. This man's got some real patience. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Uh, you're not sending me out to Undyne, are you? Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Uh, I don't want to get caught by Undyne, so... So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Okay. okay. Let's keep going. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now. All we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wow. Um, wishing room. Thousands of people wishing to get the candy wrong. The king will prove that. Oh, here we go, battle. Uh, Washua shuffles up. Um, okay. I'm gonna check to see what we need to do. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Whistle as it Okay. Friends with a little bird, uh, clean? You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Alright! Oh, okay, 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 I, okay, I think I need the green. It actually heals me as well. Rinsing off the pizza. Yay, I can spare! 25 gold from that. Let's see. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Great. That is so sweet. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. 
Let's have a look in here. Look through the telescope. Sure. So... Check wall. Right, this looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, wow. You forget how beautiful this game is. <laughs> oh, yep, check wall, I did. Let's see what's down here. No, nothing over here. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out all the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It will take the soul of every of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist e this outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a whole beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Wow. Okay, the music is quieted down. I think I remember what happens here. Alright. Let's just keep on going. Oh no! Hello, Undyne! Hello, how are you? Um, I see you want to kill me, but please don't. I'm just... I'm completely innocent here, Undyne. Uh, okay. Okay, just... Just keep going. This music is awesome. Okay. Come on. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Uh, okay, just hide in the bushes. Undyne. Undyne, be nice, please. Oh, no. Hey! Oh, you're, you, you're poking the monster kid in the eye. Oh. Okay, I think we can go. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll, we'll see her again. Oh, great, I'm sure we will. And you need to stop... Oh, I'm landing on your face. This cheese has been here so long, a mystical, a magical crystal has grown around it. Oh, my word. It's stuck to the table. Hello, mouse. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. There we go. Hey, Sans. Oh, we have a box here. Uh, no. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G need to use for this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Uh, use the telescope? Sure, I'll use it. Um, it's completely red. I think the other telescope was better before. Sans, have you? Huh? Aren't you satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. What's that on my... Why have I got pink eye? Look, why have I got a pink eye? Uh... Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm healed. Right, what's through here? Right. I'm gonna try and explore as much of this as possible. Hello, Dark. Hello. And then... 
What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Wow. This game hits hard sometimes. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Also, oh yeah, it's the hot dog. This hot dog guy, I think. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I have thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have free cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Right, ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Let's get some. Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. And then the punch card. Alright. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, hot dog. Th thank you, ice cream guy. Don't mind I said hot dog. Right. Back to this music. This area looks absolutely beautiful. So what's down here? Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a dusty tutu. So of course I actually told her. Papyrus, no! In you were indeed wearing a dusty tutu. It pains me to tell such a bold-faced lie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But since you weren't, you aren't wearing a dusty tutu, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowee, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Oh my god, that's so nice, Papyrus. Oh, here we are, monster. Oh, we, we, we can spare both of these. Uh, sure. Right, I want to see what's over here. Big area to explore. Oh wait, there's something in there. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Uh, sure. You've got the ballet shoes, right. Bruh. No, 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 I, I, I don't know. Great, I wanted the ballet shoes. Monster. Aaron flexes in right. Flex. Here we go. There we go. Flex himself out of the room. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Right. Keep going. Oh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that, that, that the humans feared. Oh. What's this? Oh yeah, I rem I I remember this. Hello, hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion San. Uh, Onion San, you here? Oh, great, I love I love their face. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's it's big. It's my big favorite. Oh my god, I love this guy. Even though the water's g getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway. So even if I wanted to, I. That's okay though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? 
I'm gonna get out to I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Great, that guy was so nice. I, I, I hope he gets his I, I hope that I hope that octopus gets their wish. Right. Whoa, battle. Okay. Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. Uh uh Hum? You hum a jazz ballad. Shiren follows your melody. Siren say 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 me say. Whoa. Much more comfortable seeing you all. There we go. We cheered him up. The northern room hides a great treasure. All right, let's go there. So there's a piano here. Play it. Okay. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play it along? Only the first eight are fine. All right, let's try and figure this out then. Okay, what do we need to do here? I think I'm gonna stop figuring this out. Um, I, I feel like maybe I could do it, but I think it will take me a while. Anyway, let's go along here. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its souls its soul disappears, and an incredible power will be needed to take the soul of a living monster. All right. There is only one exception: the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. I mean, it could have. Whoa, what is this? It's a statue. The structure's at its feet seem dry. Wow. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Sure, I'll take one. You took an umbrella. Doesn't seem to be having an effect yet. Hello. Hello. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. All right. Just walking along here. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> Alright. This area is just beautiful in general. Don't, don't, don't know how many times I've said that, but Waterfall Wall, was one of the most beautiful areas. So one time... We had a school project where we had to t take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Alright, let's keep going. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to, to hurt an innocent person, but I'm innocent! I haven't done anything! Oh, this view. This art style in general just looks... 
so good. Wow. Kind of is breathtaking, like some like some of the parts in this game. Oh Return the Umbrella? Yeah, yeah, put it back. You returned the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Alright. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Aw, <laughs> oh, still. You gotta, you gotta stop tripping over and landing on your face, monster kid. Alright. Oh, it's got dark. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Let's say, sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. <laughs> In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. There's a shadow on me. I know what's happening. I know what's going to happen. to go back. Oh, great. Oh, great. Undyne, you didn't have to do that. That is it for this video. We'll see where I ended up in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.